good morning dear students since the audio was off during the online classes i am going to send you this video page 164 act 4 scene 1 salerio my lord here stays without without means outside here uh, someone is outside a messenger with letters from the doctor from the doctor is here dr belario the lawyer greatest lawyer belario new come from padua just now he has arrived from padua padua is a place in italy so salerio gives a message to the duke that a messenger from padua from dr belario has arrived just now and he is staying outside duke bring us the letters call the messenger so bring bring me the letter and uh, allow the messenger inside bassanio good cheer antonio so while salerio was asked to bring the messenger and the letter bassanio is speaking to antonio good cheer antonio what man courage here so he asked him to cheer up and show his courage the jew shall have my flesh flesh blood bones and all or thou shall lose for me one drop of blood so he says that the jew uh, will have my flesh blood bones and everything else before he could even shed at least one drop of blood from you so or means before antonio i am tainted with the of the flock with her means a sheep tainted means sick so i am a sick sheep in the flock meat is for death pictures or ready for death the weakest kind of fruit drops earliest to the ground so i am just like a fruit which is very weak that is about fall to the ground and so let me you cannot better be employed employed means occupied besanio than to live still and write my epitaph epitaph is a inscription on the tomb stone or what is written on the grave stone that is called the epitaph so here he is saying better you live on and in order to write the epitaph of antonio enter nerissa dressed like a lawyer's clerk so nerissa enters just like a lawyer's clerk and they would not recognize her as nerissa because she has disguised herself as a lawyer's clerk duke come you from padua from belario have you come from belario in padua nerissa from both my lord which means i am coming from belario in padua belario greets your grace he has sent greetings to you your grace here is duke presents a letter she gives a letter now basanio is speaking to shailak because shailak was sharpening his knife on the sole of his shoe some of the shoes have the soles made of iron so they will be hard and he is sharpening his knife on to it so he speaks basanio why dost thou wet thy knife so earnestly so why are you sharpening wet means sharpening your knife so earnestly means so eagerly shall up to cut the forfeiture from the bankrupt today forfeiture is penalty penalty of 1 pound of flesh from that bankrupt is a person who uh, is left with no money no money in his name rashian not on thy soul but on thy soul harsh you soul here is spirit so not on the soul of the shoes but on your soul that you have to sharpen your knife thou make us thy knife keen keen means sharp better you sharpen your knife on your soul your spirit but no metal can no not the hangman at bear half the keenness of the sharp end so grashiano is comparing the sharpness or the cruelty of the sanio with the hangman's act hangman is a person who uh, executes the death sentences usually they are the ones hanging them or uh, if they are sentencing to cut off the head they are the ones using their axe to cut off the head it will be so sharp that with one attempt the head is separated from the body 
so therefore he says that even his axe will have half the sharpness than the sharpness of your envy your jealousy and your anger or your cruelty can no prayers pierce thee so no prayers penetrate you no prayers can change your hard heartedness shaila no none that thou hast bit enough to me so not even one prayer that even you are clever to make or uh, even not even a prayer that you intelligently make grashyano oh be thou damned damned means curse inexorable dog inexorable Inex dog means uh, a dog which cannot be finished or cursing how much we curse also it would not be enough that's what he is that is inexorable dog and for thy life let justice be accused still you are alive for that the justice to be blamed because by now you should have been killed thou almost makes me waver in my faith you are almost tempting me to doubt my faith to hold opinion with pythagoras pythagoras is a great philosopher so you are making me doubt my faith and believe what pythagoras says what does pythagoras say that souls of animals infuse themselves infuse means enter themselves into the trunks of men trunks means bodies so according to pythagoras the souls of animals infuse themselves in the body of human beings thy courish spirit your doggish spirit governed a wolf it was in the possession of a wolf it was your doggish spirit was that of a wolf who hanged for human slaughter who had been hanged for killing human slaughter means killing kill to uh, this wolf was being hanged for killing the human beings even from the gallows gallows is the place where they are hanged did his fell soul fleet his soul fell from the gallows and started running fleeing fleet means running and whilst thou layest in the unhallowed dam while you are lying you are conceived in the unholy womb of your unholy mother when you were lying in the womb of your unholy mother infused itself in thee it had entered in yourself for thy desires are wolfish wolfish means just like that of a wolf bloodthirsty bloody means bloodthirsty starved and ravenous raven also is a bird crow crow like bird bigger than the crow which are found in the forest or wilderness so ravenous means hungry all the time wants to eat so here he is uh, considering him bloodthirsty and craving to kill others so that's what here we see